Hey, I'm Brody, a solutions engineer at Zapier. I'm here to talk today about the most popular form of embedding that Zapier offers, our Zap template element. Here are a table of contents for this video, which include an overview, highlight the benefits, and finally a quick demo to see the Zap template element in action. If you're just getting started with embedding, I would recommend watching the what is embedding video before this one, just to get a good sense of all of the ways embedding can help you grow. However, for a quick refresher, for the Zap templates, Zap templates refer to our pre-configured, pre-built Zaps. Zapier elements give you a snippet of code to copy and paste for a quick solution. This has minimal effort for maximum payoff. Depending on your situation, you may not even need a developer to help you out, and you can place them in more contextual places easier. The Partner API allows access to more data and the ability for you to customize the look and the feel of the embed, but requires de development resources from your team. You can learn more about using the Partner API in a separate video. The most common questions we get are how and why would I want to embed Zap templates within our product? There are a few different ways that you can accomplish this, but today we'll show you the easiest way using our copy and pasteable elements. So let's just cover a quick overview about the benefits of embedding. In addition to the previous benefits covered in our what is embedding video, specifically our pre-configured Zaps, why would you want to embed these on your site? Zap templates are an important growth mechanism for users to discover automation, which will lead to user retention, increased value, and allow them to grow into the partner program. Users can set up these pre-built integrations without the need to come to Zapier directly, keeping them in your product experience and on your own site. By presenting users with the most popular Zap templates in the most contextual places within your product, you can show these integrations at the right place and at the right time. So let's dive deeper into the element for Zap templates. All right, so today we're gonna to go ahead and show you the Zap template element generator um, and also how to embed that onto your own blog post. Um, so right here we have our custom embed generator. You can change the number of Zap templates that are being returned. You can change the background color between light and dark depending on your theme. And then all you need to do is search for your app here. So we run this uh, ghost blog um, and all it is is an integration blog about various apps of the day and how great those integrations are. So for this um, blog post, we have the Instagram for Business integration that we were talking about. And wouldn't it be great to actually embed um, some of these Zap templates directly within the blog post? That way a user doesn't have to go searching for them when they are ready to um, sign up. Um, so this is a great sign up generator um, that you can embed directly in all your blog posts. And it's all it is is a simple copy and paste. So if we go back over to the generator here, um, all I need to do is go ahead and search for my app that I want to embed, um, and which is Instagram for Business. So here it pulls in the top five Zap templates, um, and I can change the number of them um, as, as, to as many as I want. Um, for this blog post, I want to use three. Um, so these are the three most popular Zap templates based on usage from our users. So these will update dynamically without any need or user intervention. So all you need to do is click the Copy Code button there, um, and that'll copy that little script snippet. Um, and then all that is is an HTML script that you can go ahead and put into your blog post. So if I come over here, I can back out of the preview. Um, and then now I'm editing the, the blog post itself. And then all I need to do is add an HTML element um, within my ghost blog. Um, this is similar probably across many other popular um, blogging CMS platforms. Um, so once I have the HTML element, all I need to do is paste that in there. So now I have my script um, that was copied over from the partner embed generator. And all this is is the three most popular Zap templates like I mentioned here. And then if we go back, um, all I need to do is exit out of that to save it. And then once I hit preview, this is how a user will go ahead and actually view the blog post on our site when it's published. So just like that, you have the three most popular Zap templates embedded directly onto your own site. Um, so as easy as copying and pasting that code, and then that's all you need to do. Um, so now to show you a little bit more advanced technique, uh, let's go ahead and jump over into our other demo. Cool, so the second demo here we have, um, I'm gonna show you how to embed Zap templates directly onto your website that may not necessarily be <clears throat> um, a blog post. Um, so like say we want to embed it here on zapier.space. So this is what the end result will look like. Um, so say we have an about page where we have where we talk about 
uh, various things about our product, and maybe that directly relates to um, an integration. Um, so say our product is built around integrations. For example, Space by Zapier is all about keeping track of upcoming space launches. Um, so if we move over to our local environment where I'm uh, developing this, uh, we can kind of see it's a similar page, but there are no embeds directly on it right now. Um, so this is bare bones page that uh, we'll go ahead and add the zap template element to it. Um, this is a Next.js website, so you can kind of see the code right here. Um, it, it's a little bit different than, say, the previous, uh, the previous demo where it was just a blog post. So I have these two uh, div elements here where I want to add two different uh, zap template elements to it. So I have the IDs as zap1 and zap2. Um, so let's go ahead and search for our app here, which is spaced by Zapier. Um, and then as you can see, there are only three uh, zap templates right now for it. Um, so there's ones on Google Calendar, one on Slack, and then one on memegen.link. Um, so let's say we only want to return two zap template elements um, in, the, in the first section here. Cool, so all I need to do is go ahead and copy that code. And then this is a little different here. Uh, so since this is a Next.js website, I can't just copy and paste that script element in here. So this is where this is a little more advanced technique as we need to do a little bit of custom scripting um, that your developers should know how to do if they are working within this environment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this script tag here just uh, for reference. Um, and then I have a few elements that I've already written up where I'm gonna basically use use effect, uh, which is a React um, function. And then I go ahead and add that here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a little custom function that can append script elements to the body. Um, so as you can see here, it's just called add zap. And all it is re is requiring the source. Um, so I made that pretty easy. That's all you need to do is pass in that, that string that we generate. Um, and then you have a document element that creates a script element, sets that source, and then appends it to the body. So in order for that to show up, um, we need to add the HTML element ID as well. So I just went ahead and pasted in um, this exact script source. Um, where the only difference is I'm adding another URL param, which is HTML ID, and I'm setting that ID to zap-1. So that matches up with the, the div down there where I have ID zap-1. So when I go ahead and save this, this will now generate within that HTML ID. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And then voila. So that went ahead and copied over those two zap template elements. And like I said, these are the ones that are dynamically updating based on popularity and usage, since I am copying it from the script source, which is just taking in the services slug, which is space dash by dash Zapier. So that will automatically generate the most popular ones. So let's say I wanted that third one, the meme gen dot link one. This one right here. So let's say I wanted to grab that one specifically, and I wanted to include just one based on its ID. So I already know the ID of that one, but I'll go ahead and show you quickly how to access it if you are the owner of it. So you go to developer.zapier.com, and then you go over to the Zap Templates admin dashboard. And then from here, you can kind of see your list of Zap Templates that you have created. Click on the little cog there, and then you can copy the ID. So that is what you'll uh, need in order to embed this directly onto your site. So as long as you have that ID, we can go ahead and, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste a new little snippet that we can go ahead and, and add in the use effect here. So this is a new one. Um, the script tag is mostly the same. As you can kind of see here, the only difference instead of services where that will pull in all the available ones based on your app's um, ID. This one will grab a very specific zap template based on its ID. So we're grabbing the guided zap um, which is 568202, or it's a comma separated uh, string that we can add more and more and more to it. And say we wanted to add five specific zap templates that didn't update dynamically. 
um, but we're just going to do one. And then this uh, uses the HTML element of HTML ID of zap2. Um, and then we'll go ahead and save that, go over to our about page, and then voila. So that's a little bit of more of the advanced techniques of embedding this on a Next.js website um, where you may need to have a developer involved to help you out here. Your users who connect to integrations are stickier, higher value users than those who don't. But most of those users just don't know where to start. So Zap templates inspire those use cases and they're pre-configured so they're up and running in just a couple of clicks. So in short, now you know how to embed Zap template elements on your own site. Thanks.